and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as a Four Kids at 147, and I've brought Mr. Quackers along today. Look at him. Um, to help with tip and trick number 23. So in the past tips and tricks, we have discussed using an easel, which I use, I use lots. We've discussed working with large paintings. We've discussed using cover paper um, instead of the clear paper. But one thing that some people do find is that while they like using an easel, they actually find that they can't diamond paint quite as long because they're holding the tray while they place the diamonds and they find that you know it can it can be a bit too much for them depending on you know ability there can sometimes just be things like cramp in the hand it could be you're just diamond painting too much but hey who wants to stop diamond painting because somebody said it was too much or because of pain in your hand not me so my tip and trick for today is to help you with your tray while working on an angle. Now this can work on easels, it can also work on the likes of drafters tables. Uh, some people have, have the space and the ability to have a nice big one of those. I'm just not ready to kick hubby out of my life so I can have one. So I use an easel. <laughs> um, but there are things that can help you. Now this one's got numbers on it. It doesn't come with numbers on it. Um, I did actually pull this out and give it a go in my June whip and chat, I think. I think it was my June. And I managed to pick up my Sharpie pen off my diamond painting. So they don't come like this. Um, but this one is from Purple Pelican. And it's slightly sticky on both sides but not too much, um, but it has got some stickiness to it. But what you can do with this, and what I did do, and currently pulled off some paper, is you can stick this either on your diamond painting, and it will come up, or you can stick it on your cover paper, and it will peel up, but it will also stay pretty well. Considering cover paper is like a wax coating, it sticks really well. It sticks really well on diamonds, which are plastic. But because it's sticky on both sides, you can then stick your diamond painting tray on it. So your diamond painting tray is now at the same angle as your easel, which frees up your diamond painting hand so that you're just using your pen. And if you're is it ambidextrous? If you can use both hands, you can switch with your pen and keep going all day. Um, and it will hold your tray while you diamond paint. Now, people may be like, hang on, your diamonds are going to fall everywhere. Well, if you have the right kind of tray, that shouldn't happen. So I've put quite a few diamonds in there. Oh, and I'm throwing them out because I'm that kind of person because I'm on camera. So I'm going to try and do my gentler shake. So I do my little shake like I normally do. I like to work from one side where I can. So once I've got them lined up, I shake any few little excess ones down here. And then I'll put my diamonds on. And they're not falling out. So I can get my pen. And I can get my diamonds from here. And if I try and get it to come off the pen, I can get them from down here. I can move them about and it's only when I give them enough of a push for them to sandwich themselves together. So if I just move them into a line, I'm all good. If I push them a bit further, then yes. The apple taught us that gravity will eventually make them come down. But if you have a nice tray that has got deep enough ridges, deep enough ridges there so that your diamonds line up nice. You can still have them on the same angle as your easel while you diamond paint away. Once you're done, slowly take your tray off with any other diamonds, deal with exchanging it, and you can even peel off your mat 
and move it wherever you need to according to whatever section you're working on and if you have a special one like me you can have numbers on it too <laughs> uh, I have seen these available not as big this one I must say this one from purple pelican is great because it's it's a nice chunky size but I have seen some slightly smaller ones actually sold in the car section of some places they are sold um, for you to put your phone on in your car to stop your phone sliding about well you know us diamond painters we like to change everything up and make it all about diamond painting so if you have one of these little car holders car phone holders go and pinch it out your car and you can use it for your diamond painting while doing and you know while doing your diamond painting and you've either got a hand free if you're somebody that can diamond paint with both hands or the even better option and the option that I like you can have a brew in this hand while you diamond paint with this one maybe some chocolate maybe some jellies whatever your heart desires you could even just put your hand down and let it have a rest from a busy day it's up to you but yeah if that's something that you struggle with for any reason or whether you just purely want the option to be able to have a brew um, while you're diamond painting and not have to put anything down then get yourself a nice sticky pad I'm also going to get rid of my little round orange diamond that's found its way into Mr Quackers and I will save some of this for my next tips and tricks video so do stay tuned they come out regularly I'm trying to get to 100 we'll see how far we get and maybe one of these days I will clean the numbers off the back of my little sticky pad but for now it works exactly how I want it to and I hope that helps some of you thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon <laughs>